Hare Krishna everyone, welcome back to Shravanam Diaries podcast. I'm your host Sulali Devidasi and we are continuing to read teachings of Lord Chaitanya by His Divine Grace, Srila A.C. Bhakti Vedanta Swami Prabhupada. We are on chapter number 32, Conclusion. And out of all songs, what song do you think is the best? Chaitanya Mahaprabhu asked. Ramananda Raya replied that any song which describes the pastimes of Radha and Krishna is the best song. The conditioned soul is captivated by sex. All literary works of fiction, dramas, novels, and so on, describe love between men and women. Since people are so attracted to this kind of literature, Krishna appeared in this material world and displayed his transcendental loving affairs with the gopis. There is an immense literature dealing with the loving exchanges between the gopis and Krishna, and anyone who takes shelter of this literature or of the stories about Radha and Krishna can enjoy, enjoy actual happiness. In Srimad Bhagavatam 10.33.36, it is said that the Lord displayed his pastimes in Vrindavan in order to reveal his actual life. Any intelligent person who tries to understand the pastimes of Radha and Krishna is the most fortunate. The songs that tell of those pastimes are the greatest songs in the world. Greatest songs in the world. Lord Chaitanya then inquired, What is the most profitable thing in the world? The essence of all auspicious things, all auspicious events. Ramanandarai replied that there is nothing as profitable as the association of pure devotees. And what do you recommend a person should think of? Lord Chaitanya asked. Ramananda replied that one should always think of the pastimes of Krishna. This is Krishna consciousness. Krishna has multiple activities and they are described in many Vedic scriptures. One should always think of those pastimes. That is the best meditation and the highest ecstasy. In Srimad Bhagavatam 2.2.36, Shukadeva Goswami confirms that one should always think of the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Indeed, one should not only think of Him, but also hear and chant His name, fame and glories. And what is the best type of meditation? Lord Chaitanya inquired. He who always meditates on the lotus feet of Radha and Krishna is the best meditator, Ramananda Raya answered. This is confirmed in Srimad Bhagavatam 1.2.14. Quote, it is the Supreme Personality of Godhead alone. He who is the master of all devotees whose name one should always chant and who should always be meditated upon and worshipped regularly." Where should a person live giving up all other places? Lord Chaitanya next inquired. Ramananda replied that one should give up all other places and live in Vrindavan, where Lord Krishna had so many pastimes. In Srimad Bhagavatam 10.47.61, Uddhava says that it is best to live in Vrindavan, 
even as a plant or creeper. It was in Vrindavan that the Supreme Lord lived, and it was there that the gopis worshipped him, the ultimate goal of all Vedic knowledge. And what is the best subject to hear of? Chaitanya Mahaprabhu next asked. The pastimes of Radha and Krishna, Ramananda replied. Actually, when the pastimes of Radha and Krishna are heard, heard from the right source, one at once attains liberation. Unfortunately, sometimes people are misguided because they do not hear these pastimes from a liberated, a realized soul. It is stated in Srimad Bhagavatam 10.33.39 that one who hears the pastimes of Krishna with the gopis will attain the highest platform of devotional service and be freed from material lust, which overwhelms everyone's heart in the material world. In other words, the actual result of hearing the pastimes of Radha and Krishna is to get rid of all material lust. One who does not become freed from material lust in this way should not indulge in hearing of the pastimes of Radha and Krishna. Unless we hear from the right source, we will misinterpret the pastimes of Radha and Krishna and think they are ordinary affairs between a man and a woman. In this way we shall be misguided. Who is the most worshipable deity? Chaitanya Mahaprabhu next inquired. Ramanandaraya immediately replied that the transcendental couple, Sri Radha and Krishna, is the ultimate object of worship. There are many worshipable objects. For example, the impersonalists worship the Brahma Jyoti. But by such worship, one becomes bereft of life's symptoms and becomes just like a tree or other non-moving living entity. Those who worship the so-called void also attain such results. Those who are after material enjoyment, bukti, worship the demigods and achieve their planets and thus enjoy material happiness. Lord Chaitanya next inquired about those who are after material happiness and those who are after liberation from material bondage. Where do they ultimately go? he asked. Ramanandaraya replied that those who aspire for liberation ultimately turn into trees and that the others attain the heavenly planets where they enjoy material happiness. Ramanandaraya went on to say that those who have no taste for Krishna consciousness or spiritual life are just like crows, crows who take pleasure in eating the bitter nimba fruit. It is the poetic cuckoo that eats the buds of the mango tree. The unfortunate transcendentalists simply speculate on dry philosophy, whereas the transcendentalists who are in love with Radha and Krishna are just like cuckoos enjoying the buds of the mango tree of love of Godhead. Thus, those who are devotees of Radha and Krishna are most fortunate. The bitter nimba fruit is not at all edible. It is simply full of dry speculation and is fit only for crow-like 
philosophers. Mango buds, however, are very relishable. And those who are in devotional service of Radha and Krishna enjoy them. We are going to stop here for today. Thank you so much for tuning in. The link to this book is in the description. Please check out our website shravanamdiaries.com and we shall see you tomorrow. Hare Krishna.